So in our SAP system, SAP system means the combination of multiple SAP softwares, combination of multiple SAP softwares here, components, SAP components here. If you go to the system status here, you will come to know which SAP system product you are working. What is the your product version here? What is the product version you are working here? Right? This is a NetWeaver 7.5. So if you go to the ECC, then you will see the ECC related product versions. You can see it here, right? ECC, every system, there is a product version here. If you see here, there is a ECC related product version you have here, right? If you go to the installed products here, then here you can see the ECC, HP8, Netweaver is the common here. And Fiori components are there. Fiori frontend servers are there. So you have list of components are there here. List of components. These all are the SAP related components here. These all are the components here. So this collection of these components are called the your SAP system. Right? Your SAP is working means. So because of OS level kernels, kernel we are updating. Then SAP level functionalities are also working means because of this components here, set of components here. Each component, there is a version. This component also, there is a release version. There is a SP version here, SP version, support pack version, support pack version here. So note means the collection of bug fixes and everything that is called the note. Note means the collection of bug fixes, the known errors, all those things we can we can fix it out in the UI by implementing the node. We have the n number of nodes are there, thousands of tons of nodes are there to implement it. Then we can just update the patch. The patch means the collection of nodes are called the collection of nodes are called the so one patch. Support pack means the collection of patches are called the support pack. Support pack stack is the collection of collection of SP is called the support pack. Then release upgrade is release called the, the collection of support pack stack is called the here. Here yeah, the main is the release. Then after that support pack stack. Then after that SP support pack. Then patch. Then small is the node. The small bug fixes, so only few nodes, we can implement it. There is a tons of nodes are there to implement it. Then you can update the patch. So here, not the one patch, here the number of patches are there means you can better to update the SP upgrade, you can perform it, right? SP upgrade, SP level changes, you can do it here. SP level changes, you can do it in the systems, right? SP level changes, we can do it in the system, right? So you have the Sorry. you have the component here. There is a release version. There is a SP version. So within the release, you have the sub version is called the. So means someone asks you the what is your basis version means. It is a seven fifty and SP zero zero version means initial version. You don't have you have the initial version. What is your STPI version seven forty? It's a zero zero one version here. Zero zero one sub patch level. Patch level is the 01, you can say, right? So release 740 and patch level 01, like that we need to tell here, right? So you suppose this is the old version during the installation time, you have these versions are created. But we also we also need to update our systems and keep for smooth run up to date for the smooth execution, smooth run for the business. So by updating this patch version, this patch levels from 1, 2, 2 or 3, 2, 4, what you will get, the existing any errors or any known errors that will be fixed. And also, if any new known errors, if any new uh, new functionalities, any new enhancements or if anything, that will also insert into the your system, that will also come into the your system here. So that's the reason we always need to update our components, our system components from one version to another version, we have to update it here, right? One version to another version, we have to update it here. So for this one, in our SAP system, we have to use the, so in SAP system, we have to use the, the spam or saint transaction codes, we have to use it. Spam or saint transaction codes, we have to use it here. 
ஸ்பேம் ஈஸ்லா ஸ்பேம் ஈஸ் ஃபார் த ஸ்பேம் எஸ்பிஏஎம் ஸ்பேம் இஸ் த டிரான்சாக்ஷன் கோட் அப்டேட்டிங் தி அப்டேட்டிங் ஆர் பேச்சிங் தி பேச்சிங் தி அப்டேட்டிங் தி அப்டேட்டிங் தி எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் அப்டேட்டிங் த எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் டு த ஹையர் வெர்ஷன் ஸோ த சேம்ட் டிரான்சாக்ஷன் இஸ் கோட் ஃபார் த இன்ஸ்டாலிங் தி இன்ஸ்டாலிங் ஆர் ஆடிங் தி நியூ காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் நியூ காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் இன் ஓர் எஸ்ஐபி சிஸ்டம் இயர் ரைட் ஸோ சப்போஸ் ஸ்பேம் இயர் த ஸ்பேம் யூ கேன் சி த ஸ்பேம் ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஸ்பேம் ஹியர் ஸோ ஹியர் யூ வாண்ட் டு ஆட் த யூ வாண்ட் டு இன்ஸ்டா யூ வாண்ட் டு அப்டேட் த அவர் எக்ஸிஸ்டிங் காம்போனன்ட் வெர்ஷன்ஸ் தென் யூ நீட் டு ஹேவ் த ஸ்பேம் ஷுட் பி அப் டு டேட் ஹியர் ஸ்பேம் வெர்ஷன் ஷுட் பி அப் டு டேட் ஹியர் யூ ஷுட் ஹேவ் த ஸ்பேம் ஹியர் right spam this is spam here spam is the transaction code here here you can check the the latest versions and all those things we can check it out here but here you need to log in with the 300 transaction code 300 to updating this components you need to have the 300 transaction code you need to log in right 300 client and any one of the user either ddic or basis user you can log in then we can use the spam or saint transaction so something like saint we adding the new components saint is for the we adding the new component we have to use the saint transaction code here right so saint transaction code suppose sir initially i forgot to download install the one more functionality or later my manager asked us to in this same netweaver system my manager asked you to ask us to install the new component sir how is it is possible if we do it with the swpm tool then swpm tool is for the entire sap system is new installation but i don't want the system is ready system is okay data also there then i want to add the new component or new functionalities for the existing system then in this case you can use the saint to transaction code is for the add on installation tool so justly you can just use the saint transaction code you can add the new product or new component you can install it here right so spam is for the slash n and spam transaction also for is for the so in case of if you want to update the existing components existing components to the higher level you can use the spam here right so both the ways we need to check it out now here so what to do now now we need to download now we need to download those things here right so here so let me open sap but because all we have to do it with the sap launch sap one launch pad here one launch pad like one launch pad means sap service.sap.com or or we have to use the what is that what is that site we have to download the sap softwares me.sap.com or service.sap.com or so support.sap.com what is the user id we have to use it yes user id right with yes user id we will log in then we have to download the our patches here we have to download the our patches we have to download it in the systems right so once you once the authentication is done once the authentication is done here so then we will be navigated to the the sap the download center sap the download center we will be navigated to the sap download center here so here we need to download the patches we need to download the patches here sap the patches we have to download it here right so here we have to download the patches here so how can i know means you will get the requirement which patches you have to update or which component you want to install it here right so here see go to the sap download software here normally during the installation time also we went to the download software so here
HTTP download manager, then we can download it. So here we'll we'll first of all we'll install the small components. We will install it. Normally, previously, previously we use the spam and send only for updating the SAP systems. Later, the SAP introduced the ESPI tool. Now some tool we are using. There are the tools also available to to do the entire components patch. Why? Because spam and saint when you are doing, it will slightly impact the system performance and everything. So that's why SAP developed the one tool. How the SWPM tool we are using for the installation here. So here some tool we are using for the updating the our existing components, right? So here, so what you are going to do now, you are going to install the or you are going to update the existing components. Suppose like here, so uh, one component, let's take here, plugins, right? You are going to add the some plugins here, right? So let me, <laughs> so here, so let's go to SL tool set here. No, no, not required. So here some plugins, suppose like uh, ST API will install it here, ST API. Okay, this is the ST API. So this component is not there in our system, right? Some solution manager tool here. This component is not there here. This is our, so 731 is there here, right? Let's install the 731 installation, right? So then download the this patch here. So this patch is getting downloaded here, right? Also, we will also download the, we will also download the, so some of the support packs as well, updating the components here. Why? Because if you see here, our NW1 system, we don't, we have, suppose like we'll update the STPI version 740 to the higher release. And here we don't have any components called the STAPI component is not there. So we'll update the STAPI as well. So two components, one is the adding the new and second one is the updating. Updating means patch. So so patches you have to go then so st stpi right stpi we can install it here we can update it this components already there so select in your system what is the current version it is installed go to the system status here you go to the here stpi 740.001 740 which is the 740 and support pack and patches here. So you have the 01. Oh my God, starting itself. Now it is the 027. Oh my God. So 01 installed. But here we have to update the one by one. One by one, we have to update it. Right? Just click on the two. I think uh, at a time, I think we can update it. I think. So one by one means directly we can update to the 27 also. But for your practice purpose, I am downloading the so few of the softwares I am downloading. I will we can also update it here. Okay. Through spam and send, we can also update it here. So I am downloading here. Okay, so some of the components I downloaded, it's there in the system, it's coming. So, okay, so then, and also API also will install it. API also, what is the latest version 731 we downloaded? V version will download. Okay. So installation is different than downloading the patches are different here. We are in the support pack and patches, right? So now if you go to the installation by alphabetical index, yes. So these are the small plugins actually. That's why we are installing. We can also choose the other one, but others ones are that dependencies will come. So this will, it will, this will not come any dependencies here. Installation. So then 
Rồi, từ từ lên cùng nhau. CAPA. Seven thirty one. Zero one V seven thirty one. You can download it. Okay. So you have downloaded the so installation plugins and updating the, the patches plugins also. You have downloaded here. All we have downloaded here. <laughs> right? All we have downloaded here. All the things you have downloaded here. Then cut. So what I can do, we can go to the here. The here I am just creating the one folder called the so plugins. Okay. Plugins. Plugins folder I created in our jump server. There I am pasting here. Right? Plugins and I am pasting here. So now what we are going to do now, we are up installing the new component here. We are installing the new component here. Yeah, settings I will change it to the 10. 10 parallel process. Right? <coughs> Installation. But then in this case, Saint you have to go. Saint transaction code is for the installation settings here. So 10 member of parallel process, 10, 10, 10 background process like that. You can select it. Then Saint. So what we have to do, we are going to add the new component called the API. So go to the installation and patches. Load the patches from front end. Means in the front end, your application server level, you have downloaded are directly from the application server. If the small size, we can directly get from the our, we can directly load from the our application server. So like we have plugins, right? Plugins here. So in this case, just upload the one of the plugin here. You can upload it. <coughs> So directly we can upload from the, our workstation, our gem server we can upload it. Sometimes the file size is very big, then we have to move to the this application server, NW1 application server. We have to keep into the trans directory. We have to extract it manually using the SCP car command. But now you are doing with here. So no need to extract it automatically. It will extract it here. So which means small number of files it will do the extraction, small number of phases, it will do the, so, so we can, we can extract it here. So it is loading, it is loading the files here, it is loading the files here. So suppose if you do from front end, so it's loading slowly. Why? Because maybe size or some network or so that may be the reason so taking slowly. So <clears throat> so if you so what we have to do actually once you download it, we need to move to the application server level where you have done the SAP so NW1 installation then. So where you have done the NW1 installation, we have to move the file to the application server level. So there we need to extract it using the SAP car command. We need to extract it using the SAP car command. Right. Once you extract it, then uh, once you've done the extraction, we can load it. So two ways, either we can load to the application server level or Directly, we can use the so front end. Front end means your workstation, we can use it, means your laptop or wherever you log, you open the SAP. From there, also, we can uh, load the file. We can also load the file here, right? So, here it is uploading, it means 
size of the file what is the size of the file here So here the size of the file is the plugins, plugins. So this is the one. Oh, 66 MB. Okay, 65 MB file is getting uploaded. So how much time it will take? Sometimes maybe there is a limitations, I think, 200 MB or something or uh, 500 MB. If the size is more than 100 MB or 200 MB, size more, then it will, we cannot import from the front end. We have to do it from the application server level, which means we have to move the file to the application server level. There we need to do the imports. Here we have to do the imports option. We have to do that one. So before applying this, do we need to stop the system or do we need to take the files from back? Okay, before we do the plugins, right? Yes. Before do the thing, if you take the file system backup also, system will be crashed. So data backup, we have to take it out. Database backup, we have to take it out. Why? Because it will update the table level. So object level, it will update the new functionalities. So if you take the file system backup, it will corrupt the database and everything. If something goes wrong. So that's the reason we always need to update. So take the DB backup before we do the plugins installation or everything. So actually this is an old method. Why? Because see, keys keep on loading, which means it will take some time. So then it will impact the other users who are working in the NW1. They may face the some slowness issues. Some slowness issues they may face it here. Why? Because other hand, that, that is keep on loading the data, which means that is keep on loading the data. See here, response time also very normal here. Response time also very, very normal. So which means, so so the size is, we, that is the reason it's still importing, uploading the workstation. It's uploading the file from workstation. It's taking time. Why? Because here we have to load it. Then it is going to the application server because this NW1 is installed on the different one. So it will go to that one. So the related patches, once we updated the related patches also, we can download it. The related, the patches also, we can download it. Means ST API plugins patches here. And so is this downtime activity? This is a maintenance activity. Yeah. So this is called the maintenance activity. Why? Because here normally this will be so impact the system performance. When we don't have the business, that time we have to do the this maintenance activities, we have to perform it. This is called the maintenance activities, it comes under as a maintenance activities. So kernel upgrade. And uh, SAP update components update entire car, all the components we can update it, but using the some tool is the best option here to updating the all those things here. Why? Because some will create the shadow system, you no need to import it. Some tool will take care of all those things here. How the SWPM will take care, some tool also will do the similar kind of functionalities. So Everybody will use the sum tool, but we should know about the one or two components why we will use the sum tool. We will use the this com this tool only. Which tool? So that spam and saint tools we will use it in build tool. We will use it. So that how to do it. This is the way.
why it's taking time. It means spam. Directly, I'm loading from the application server. So nothing is there in the application server. Like it. That's why it's not loading here. Uh, so we can also directly load from the application server. So first we have to extract it. It will be loaded here, right? It will be loaded, but still this is loading. So what I can do meanwhile, I can copy the patch to the So OS level, operating system level, I will copy the files. So uploading from front end, so it may take some time. So here, suppose we want to do it application server level. So directly we need to face the files into the under USR, SAP, so prompts. So here in the trans folder, we need to place the files here. Whatever the files you have downloaded, suppose like example, we are updating to the two and this is the one we are uploading here right so let's take this one then move the files to the trans directory here trans directory here just move the files to the trans directory so I can cancel it here. What I will do, I can copy and I can open the So directly we can do it from here then. why we need to worry here so this copy files are getting copied now Yeah, just take it. This is also still loading. Hmm. 
let me cancel we can cancel it or stop the transaction if you stop the transaction that will be cancelled so it is cancelled status yes see here the current transaction was reset so which means we have cancelled that one here so let's see at file system level so here i think patch dispatches are loaded what i will do i will extract it okay so SCP car iPhone XVF, okay. SCP car iPhone XVF, then K iPhone 7 40, right? Star dot SCAR. So that one I am extracting here. See, I'll got extracted to the EPS indirectly. This is a manual procedure. So manually, we want to do the extract. So application server levels, so we have to do that one application server you have to do that one then you can go to the spam or spam transaction code uh, you can go to the spam transaction code there so you can load it here go to the spam there is spam transaction code then so what we are doing we are updating the components here so what you can do just you can load the patches from the application server level so which means it will take the files from the application server level, right? So there is a 740 to upload successfully, which you extracted here. Then what you have to do, then once you upload the files here, either you can upload the files from the front end or application server level. So what we are trying to do now, we are trying to update the component from 740.0.0.1 to 0.0.2 and installation of the new component as well in that case click on the we have to define the queue first right define the queue this is a stpi queue here so there is a patch level 002 which you downloaded and extracted which you imported to sap level then select it once you define the queue then they are the steps we need to follow do you want to add the modification click on the no button then click on the import queue first to define the queue then we have to import the queue so queue import is divided into the four phases here preparation import one import two cleanup so preparation one we can run it in the dialog mode but prepare export one export two we have to run it in the background mode we can change the the start options here well, because that is the recommended so we can just choose the background means background level it will run it in the preparation activities it will run in the dialog mode just click on the ok button then so you are so it will start doing the plugins installation and everything so there are the total 27 or 29 phases are there while doing these pages right see here check requirement disassemble and there is a import underscore there are a lot of phases will come here right so all these phases total uh, so uh, it's just swpm sorry spam phases here so there are the phases here so it's not easy to remember the all the 27 or 29 phases here so in this phases some of the important phases here import above system log right tp system log right conflict checks so all those things are running now see here all those things are Currently, it is executing in the system. It is executing. So, which means total, they are the steps here. So, here there is a one important step is the 19th step that is called the import underscore the proper step here. Up to 1 to 1 to 18th step, we can suppose we can cancel it. We can some, something is going wrong. We can revert back. We can reset it. So, when the when the 
import underscore proper step is started, then we cannot roll back the step. We cannot, we cannot roll back. We cannot roll back the the patch procedure. You have to complete until 27 or 29 pages are there. You have to complete all the steps here till end of the procedure. So up to 18 step in the in middle, you realize, oh, I need to, so this is the wrong way I'm doing. I need to reset. You can do it. There is a reset option means you can roll back. But once the import underscore proper phase crossed, we cannot roll back. We cannot roll back here. That is the one important thing, guys. That's you should remember all those things, right? So here, this is important. That is the one important thing which you should know, right? So now we are up, we are updating the existing patch here. But yeah, how do you know sir, the stage is going on? Which one? Like here, stage will be there, sir, 1 to 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's running. It will run automatically. It, it will not ask you a confirmation. It will take care of all those things. So we can also see it. I think there is a, I think, uh, spam 30, RS spam 10, RS spam 30, RS. RS spam. There is a report here. As to prologue, if you recommend, disassemble, so all those, all those things. There is a step here. Import underscore proper. So this all are not will come. So this is so that is a import underscore proper steps. So. So spam phases. If you just there is a blog here. Spam phases here. You can see prologue check right here. <coughs> there is a 19th step import underscore proper. If this phase is crossed, so then we cannot do anything in the system. Which means definitely you need to fix the issue. We have to convert it. Before that. So we can reset the log system will be good once that phase is crashed so we cannot do anything here so that is called the import underscore proper step here so i think import one so procedure so now so import one completed so then import two is running ddic underscore import phase is running here ddic underscore import so which means ddic underscore import where is the TDIC? So this phase is running. Just if you click on the refresh, why? Because the remaining steps you mentioned, like it will run in the back end. So it is running in the back end. So DDIC activation. DDIC activation. DDIC activation. Yes, 18th step. Okay. Up to these steps, we are safer zone. So if you want to reset anytime, you can go to here. There is a reset option. We can reset it. We can reset the queues, all those things. We can do that one. Okay. We can reset the state queues and everything. When it is crossed, when it is started the, the import underscore proper, then we will now so it's not in our hand here. So system had any issues, suppose like something we have to recover, we can cancel it and we can do it. But when the import underscore proper started, then so we cannot do anything here. We cannot do anything in the system here. Who is importing DDIC activation here? Only display function here. So we cannot do anything in the system here. Yeah, started now. Import underscore proper. So import underscore proper started. So 19th step. This is the one important phase here. Yeah. Okay, so.
so it will run in the back end. We can see the logs. So what's happening in the system, right? We go to the logs. So these all the steps are passed here, right? So now import underscore proper. What's happening here? Import underscore proper is running here. So we can see the logs, action logs. We can see it here. So right, we can see the the logs and all. We can see it here. What's happening and all the information. We can see it. So imports are happening here. <coughs> so let me refresh why because it's a long running phases these are all are that's why people uh, will not prefer to do it with the spam and saying why because it's running very long time right so meanwhile if any users are working so it will impact their performance and systems known as see here the response time got increased when it is importing so it is getting increased so, and also sometimes they may face the dumps also here. Sometimes they may face the, the runtime other exceptions they may face it. Due to issues, they may face it, the runtime errors, exceptions, they may face it here. So, that's the reason. So, uh, it's not, uh, nowadays they will use the, some tool, they will use it to do the, this one, they will use the, some tool, some tool, we will use it. To do the patching and all those things, we will use the sum tool here. Sum tool is the best option here to perform the patching and everything here. So directly we can load it. Otherwise, we can directly use the application server. We can do that one here. All right. So still it is doing. It is important. So what it will do in the back end? Back end, there is a job will be scheduled. OCS import job. Right, OCSQ import job will scheduled. So this is running. So until this finishes, so it will not be move it further here. So it is running. So if this job is completed, means so your 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 patch plugin patching is done. If the job is stopped status means so then it's not possible then. Right, job is stopped means so Q got stuck here. Then either we have to fix the issue, we have to move further. We cannot. So roll back now. We go to the spam. So it's a display function only until you complete this one here. Right? Then display function only here. Important, I think. So there is a one patch also. Patch means one patch will get imported here. You can see one one transport will come here as a transport request. Right? You can see the transport request, the plugin. Everything it will create as a transport request that will be imported here. In SM37 also, there is a job, OCSQ import job here. Here, this is also a running status here. So that job is responsible for imports right so here we can see the if all are running that's fine so here xp execution so this will also complete soon xpra execution xpra execution yeah this is the one so we are almost near to end so near to end here so 23rd so near to end phase here
same same as like the uh, addition of the new component also we have to do the same we have to extract we have to load to the go to the saint we have to add to the application server level we have to add it so now xpra execution Yes, I think it's done. So finally, it will ask us to do the confirm. Then go to here, just click on. So when it got to the confirm the queue, we can confirm the changes and don't send. Then it's done. When you go to the system status, you see, and your component got updated to the 002 patch level. 001 to 00 patch level, it got updated. So which means the plugins got updated here right like that one by one or bulk also we can update it here one by one or bulk also we can update it to the systems here so like that we need to update our add-ons or plugins to the systems okay this is one we have to do it in the systems so same same as like saint saint also we can go and we can uh, installation package, load the packages, then select the component. We can go ahead with this one here, right? Saint. So I think here. And it is updating. So it's, my size is very huge, I think. That's why it's slowly progressing, these things, from one host to another host. Okay. So when it comes to the here, the new add-on will come to the in this list, select it and continue it. So same will followed here as well here. Okay. So this is the way we need to update or add the additional components. So once it is finishes, we can start it. Otherwise, uh, we'll see tomorrow how to update the, how to install the new add-ons also. Okay, it will copy today. Maybe uh, we'll see tomorrow. Okay. So if you have the, some additional patches also is there in the queue. So once loaded, so then you can import from here, try to import from here, print end. I mean, also, I'm also loading here. So then you can do the NW1, you can do the patching. Okay. Just update the patches to the higher version. You can update it one by one, one by one. You can do it using the spam. So you can load the patches. Then, so then click on the display different queue, select it and click on the truck button. So then automatically it will start it here, import the queue. Okay, that will happen. That you can, so do it. So meanwhile, 